As of 2019, Simsmore was already bringing in over $460 million in revenue each year, and that only spiked after 2020. The question is, where is this money going? Before we dive into this mess, I'm Simmer Aaron. I cover Simsmore guides, pack reviews, base game updates, occasionally mods and CC, and of course, pair lives. My question for you today is, did any of these salaries surprise you, and if so, which ones? So disclaimers, we all love disclaimers on this channel. Links to all sources will be in the description. This video is not going to cover everything. It's not going to cover overhead costs, marketing costs, and so forth that Electronic Arts also puts money into. All these salaries are based on the Maxis Studio where most of Sims development takes place. With that out of the way, I think you're going to find out some of this information is going to be very interesting, especially if you're not pleased with either the cost of Sims 4 or more importantly, the state of the gameplay, bugs, and glitches. So first, let's start off with talking about our favorite CEO, Andrew Wilson, who took a pay cut in 2021, or so it seems, because in reality, that's far from the real story. In a new company filing spotted by Axios, the firm reported that Wilson received $19.9 million in the 12 months that ended March 31st, 2022. It's a decline on the $39.2 million salary that Wilson was paid the year prior. However, the CEO was still awarded a sizable stock grant of $30 million for the same period. According to a proxy filing, the company's board of directors said that the bonus was in the best interest of stockholders given the heightened competition for top executive talent and the need to continue to retain and motivate Mr. Wilson. So as you can see here, while Andrew Wilson did take a pay cut in general, he actually didn't really because he was awarded stocks. And I really like that little description where they said they had to motivate Andrew Wilson for top executive talent, whatever the heck that means. And it also ties into EA's policies and supposed changes for awarding severance. Once again, at first glance, it looks like they're trying to reach more equitable standards, but top management is still getting quite a bit. Something to keep in mind once we get into the other employee salaries in a little bit. Electronic Arts is not giving up the chance to offer its top executives massive severance payouts, despite recent pressure from some others. Driving the news late last week, the publisher of Madden and The Sims tweaked its executive pay policy, placing a partial cap on termination pay. But the limit falls far short of a proposal that early in August nearly won majority support from stockholders. According to EA's new policy, Future employment agreements with top executives will limit the cash part any severance plan to no more than 2.99 times the total of the salary and the target annual bonus. But listen to this. Cash is nothing compared to equities. For example, an exiting Wilson would receive $7.8 million dollars. That's less than 2.99 times his salary, but add in the $27 million in stock that he'd also get when it terminated. The big picture? EA is far from alone in issuing its top executives lucrative contracts with large golden parachutes. But what about those salaries? How do they compare to Andrew Wilson? Well, obviously they're going to be way lower, but I want you to pay attention to how they are distributed. So in terms of the salaries, I do want to add some context here. So for full context, I actually researched the cost of living in the region where the studio is located and keep this in mind when drawing conclusions about these salaries. So the median home price in this area is $1.73 million dollars and the average rate is a whopping over $4,000 a month. You can also see average annual salaries in this general area. So as you can see here, the median annual salary is about $93,000. But let's start with the lowest paid Maxis employees and then jump to the highest paid. And to no surprise, the lowest paid are those in quality assurance. I'm sure you guys saw that coming. So as we can see, the median pay rate here is about $75,000 a year, with a range of $43,000 to $175,000. Of course, we also have to factor in things like interns, contract workers, etc. But if we think about $75,000, it might not sound that bad to you, but if you go back to the median salaries right here, it is well below the median salary in the general area. And it is far lower than some other salaries we are going to see. Some other kind of lower paying jobs, we have an artist at about $70,000, assistant producer one at $84,000, associate modeler at $74,000, and a community manager right around $93,000. So who is getting paid the most besides, of course, Andrew Wilson, CEO? 
Well, some of the general salaries, the everyday employees, we have senior director, director of product management, and then as you can also see, senior director of marketing and VP president of marketing. So I just think that those salaries are very, very interesting. By no means is it shocking that quality assurance gets paid the least, but it is revealing. It isn't to say, of course, that if you get paid a lower salary, you're not going to do a good job. You'll have to consider complicating factors as well, such as outsourcing quality assurance, which I've covered, such as poor communication, such as impossible deadlines. Definitely check out my previous videos. But I think this all adds up to the general premises, and it shows priorities. The fact that they get paid so much less than some of those other jobs, I still think is telling. And I want to tie this all into something that I think we should bear in mind, not just for The Sims 4 or a potential Sims 5, but what's sadly happening in the larger AAA gaming industry. Because at the end of the day, this sadly isn't just about Sims 4 DLC bugs and glitches. It's about how gaming is being shaped and honestly going downhill. And some of this, I think, unfortunately points to less consumer choice, which means less competition, less motivation to have that quality assurance, and further consolidation. Mergers and acquisition in the video gaming industry are already having a banner year. Hartman said that this trend may continue. Nowadays, the small shop has a banker. Looking further out, he believes that consolidation will ramp up even further, to a point where only a few companies in the gaming space will be left standing. In the long run, we're all dead. Every business, as long as the states don't interfere, will end up as a monopoly in some form. Not that I'm saying we at Amazon are going for that. What I'm saying is there are fewer and fewer players. I've been doing this for 25 years and the amount of game companies I saw back then versus now is very different. So that comes from someone from Amazon admitting that consolidation and monopolies are taking place. Now, there were rumors for EA's acquisition. Luckily, so far, they are just rumors and nothing happened. But the fact of the matter is, with less player choice with less companies, there's less incentive to make properly functioning games. And as we've seen time and time again, EA is not valuing quality assurance either. So with this combination of consolidation and the issues with the working conditions and the salaries of quality assurance, it's no surprise to me that people are upset with the state of the game. Now, to be clear, all Sims games have had some issues. That isn't to say that Sims 4 is a total train wreck, some people think it is, but I think it is important to be critical not just about The Sims 4, but the larger gaming industry. This isn't just about high school years being broken or my wedding stories being broken. This is a bigger, more problematic picture. So let me know what you think in the comments below. I'm sure none of this was too surprising, but I thought it would be an interesting deep dive looking at the larger and broader perspectives rather than just in our Sims 4 bubble. Let me know if you have any video requests. And as always, thanks so much for watching. I hope you're taking care of yourself and I will see you in the next one. Bye.